Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me this photograph of a, I don't know what you're going to call it, a crescent. If you look, it tapers down to nothing and it's thicker in the middle and thinner. I think I've got it figured out. Uh, hold down the control button and make a perfect circle and hit P. And then we are going to go to effects and contour, and we're going to contour it a half of an inch to the inside. Then I am going to, you know what we're going to do? We're going to back up here. We're going to make three ellipses. We're going to control D and make a duplicate. Hold down the shift key to uh, make it perfect, and then control D and it'll make another one perfect. A uh, couple of ways we could do this, but I think the easiest way would be to contour each line. We're just contouring each line a half of an inch, okay? We need to go to object and break the contour part. And if this works, I think this will be it. Hit the letter L on your keyboard. Wow, look at that. It put all the lines to the left. Then let's take the Smart Fill tool, fill that in, select it all, and right-click no outline. I might be, I don't know, size-wise. Um, and if they want that color, uh, I don't think that's a color in Corel. Uh, but you could always do this. The color is there. Go to your color eyedropper tool and take a sample there and pour it in those spots. Wow. I think that's that's pretty dead on. And I... Be, I I think I even did it evenly, like they've got it evenly between the, uh, you know, because I moved the first one manually, when then when I control D, it moved to the second one that equal amount. Anyway, hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.